Hello all. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at uh, Elementary OS Luna Beta. Um, one way to describe this uh, OS is uh, deceiving, but I mean that in a good way. Um, from what I've been uh, noticing, it's, I guess it's Ubuntu based. For example, if I open a terminal and I just do a uname dash A, I'll zoom in there. You can see it says Ubuntu. Ubuntu, and I'm using the 64-bit version of this. Uh, so there's there's a mixture of Ubuntu, and obviously uh, this looks much like GNOME Shell, and uh, other things with the classic panel here. And under Applications, um, you have a nice little pop-up panel, and you can set it to when you hover over, but due to limitations of the virtual machine, I don't know if I can reproduce that. It uh, doesn't matter. So you can have like an icon view and your mouse wheel to scroll back and forth between whatever you have. Not much in here right now. Or you can have like a tree view. There we go. Accessories, graphics, internet, office. You get the idea. Um, I'm going to check my notes here. I downloaded XPad. Uh, oh, yes. The uh, file manager is called Pantheon. Uh, version 0 0.1. But what I like about this is its uh, layout and its uh, some of its customizations are really nice. Um, here you have the classic uh, detailed view. And this one is sort of a split view. I don't know why I can't move this yet. Unless, so if you open like downloads, it says empty. If you open music, it shows you here a little tool tip really quick. And so it's what do they call it? It's column view. So I guess you can drag and drop between whatever folders you're in. And under more under preferences is you can have the uh, single click so single click and then that little button appears at the top but if you hit the button it adds a looks like a plus sign I'm not sure what that does yet uh, extensions it looks like there's going to be extensions uh, eventually uh, another thing too if you right click on any one of these documents permanently delete I'm not sure if that's I haven't seen that too many times or if ever or move the trash and its properties open a new tab and uh, this one's cool colors you can color your folders so not the folders themselves I'm sorry that the text and what do I got okay whatever and if you don't want the color on the text you just hit the X and it's gone and you want to go to uh, Sorry, wrong button. Uh, settings, preferences again, and single click. And you notice the little highlighted when I go across each folder. That that's across the the entire system. So down here in the dock here, this is called. Uh, oh, I forget the name now. But if you notice, if I hover over Midori, it kind of lights up. And a little bounce. You minimize, maximize. I like the little glowing there. Okay, this dock is called Plank. Sorry, and that you can customize to a certain extent. Um, Midori itself, you can. Um, preferences, not a heck of a lot. Extensions. Uh, so if you're wondering where you can get an ad blocker, you just select that and you can, under preferences, who you want to use as the provider for ad blocking, cookie manager, and etc. So it's pretty neat. Uh, let me see. I didn't mean to close that. Fonts, behavior, spell checking. I had to check that for some reason. It wasn't checked. And you can uh, new tab behavior, speed dial, or show a custom page. So speed dial, there's nothing in there. So it says click to add a shortcut, and then you just type in the internet address so it's cool uh, under software center 
If you use Ubuntu, you'll you know, be right at home because there it is, the Ubuntu Software Center. And it has all the usual uh, things you might want to see, like VLC player or um, get back there. Uh, I like to use for desktop is Conkey. And, uh, you know, the suggestions, SM player, Audacity, uh, FileZilla, Quake Terminal, you know, all the usual, usual things that come in, the, in, a, in a GNOME environment. Okay, under system settings, um, there's a lot of uh, defaults, okay, for settings, like you can set your default web browsers. And I downloaded Firefox and Chromium separately. Okay. Uh, so you can set up your own email client, etc., etc. Uh, the movie player is uh, Totem. Uh, help about. And you notice too the nice animations when they open and close and minimize. And you can also, let me open the file manager. You can also uh, do the edge snapping. You see the snap here. Nice animations when it unsnaps and snaps as well. And you just minimize by clicking on the dock. Uh, it has shot well, empathy. I downloaded a system monitor. I gave it uh, the virtual machine four cores and four gigs of RAM and it made a small file. I told it to do an automated um, partition partitioning scheme. I tried to use another file system uh, called XS XFS and it just crashed so I'm not sure why that happened. But it's, it's your basic uh, GNOME system monitor. Um, okay, it doesn't tell you there but you can see that it is. Uh, so we go back to the here. Brightness and lock. Um, display, we're desktop, sorry, not display. Uh, nice wallpapers. Nice selection. You know, it's no big deal. Go on the internet and grab your own dock. And this is this guy down here, obviously. And I had it. I have it set for an IntelliHide. Um, I think it was just don't hide by default. So IntelliHide, you know, if you move this down, it's going to disappear, and it's going to reappear. And the icon size can be adjusted either by here or the slider. So, and yeah, okay. <laughs> Bit of a delay there. One more. Hot corners, and that's what I was trying to say, show all apps, but it won't. And over, over space, overview of workspace. Over, there we go, okay, that one worked. So if I took, uh, files, I should have learned the keyboard shortcuts before this. Oh well, you could take files and then put it into another workspace. That's the idea. There. So yeah, there's there's some things that are sort of hidden, but if you're not a quote unquote power user, it doesn't matter to you. So you don't you're not going to see them. Um, date and times, nah. The only thing is, <coughs> I would like to have some customization from the actual application, like say uh, here. I have to go into system settings to adjust the sound, which is, it's okay. Uh, noise, that's the default media player. Oh, where is that? I'm staring at that. And obviously I don't have anything. Get some tunes. Okay, so simple. And where's my notes here? Uh, oh yeah, okay. If uh, what I like to is I log out is the Pantheon greeter I think they call it the way it zooms in nice little presentation shows you the time of day and date and stuff and you can customize you know just like in uh, later Ubuntu editions you can put your own picture in fairly easily by clicking on your name um, wait a minute yes you can no nope. Oh. Okay, so a lot of the <laughs> a lot of the settings are through the system settings, I guess. Like, and about 
it tells you about this. Check for upgrades. Um, users, where to go? There it is, user accounts. There. There, you can check your own. Import your own picture and use one of the defaults that's provided. Uh, keyboard. Uh, layouts. Options. There we go. Under the last tab here is you have a key, sequ key sequence to kill the X server. So basically that uh, logs you out with control alt backspace. That's handy. And you can obviously add your own custom uh, shortcuts. Displays. Uh, yeah. Basically the same thing. We've seen additional drivers. It's good to see that here instead of uh, hidden in the uh, software center. Uh, startup applications. Uh, I guess you add them. Probably a command line to show you all the startup apps. So I think that's pretty much as much as I can say right now. It's it's nice, nice and responsive. Uh, it comes in 32-bit and 64-bit, which is great. If you're familiar with Ubuntu, uh, you might feel right at home with this. And if you don't like Unity, well, this this is a good uh, alternative. And Elementary, you know, they make some great other um, themes and uh, icon sets, and obviously an OS now that's really matured. And hopefully, uh, when it comes out of beta, uh, we'll see a little more. Uh, we can add in there. Okay, so that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.